thanks for allowing us into your homes uh, today. Um, the Bible says that God may speak to man in one way or another, in a dream, in a vision of the night when deep slumber falls upon man, that God opens his ears and seals instructions. So there we have our guest will be telling us how, in a dream, he was instructed on what to do when he, he didn't have anything to do. He was instructed. I think I'll let him speak for himself. My name is Yudi. We'll see you after this time out. Hello, Achiabia. Thank you. You're yeah. welcome. Thank you. You sent us a text because you wanted to share the amazing thing God has done in your life. Yes. You've mounted exhibitions at the DD Museum. You've been celebrated on the arts and gallery show on channels. Yes. And uh, you have your own gallery. Yes. How did the journey start? My name is Achiabia. Okay. I'm from Akwa Okay. I lost my mom and my dad when I was six years old. Okay. After finishing my, my school, I came to Lagos to stay with a cousin of mine. Okay. And I didn't have anything doing. He was said, okay, stay, let him look for something for me. But during that time, one of his friends came and, and handed over my life to Christ. I was with him going to church, not doing anything. One day, I had, I had, I had a dream. I went to a particular church and the man of God was preaching. After preaching, he said, a, This is a dream. Yes. Okay. I'm, I'm telling you what I had okay. in the dream. After preaching, he said, All of you that does not have anything doing, come out that God wants to give you. Naturally, I don't, I, I don't like coming out on such thing. And I. And I said, let me, not, let me not go out. A lot of people went out. He blessed them. And he now looked at me. He now came to where I, I sat. He said, you don't have anything doing. And God wants to bless people that are idle, that doesn't have, any, that doesn't have anything doing. And you, re you, refuse to, you, you, you refuse coming out. He now laid his hand on, on, on me and now prayed. I felt the light that woke me up from the, from the sleep. A cousin of mine that we were sleeping on the same bed, I now shared the experience with, with the boy. He now said, well, now that you are born again, still pray for God, more revelations to come. And during that time, I started having this flare of uh, trying to draw. And he said, Continue to pray. I share it with with my fellow because I was I, I was I, I was a worker in in the church. I share it with a fellow church member. He said I should continue to pray that God will give me more revelation. And it was during that time I had another significant a, a, a dream. I met a friend of mine that we were in, in school together. He said ah. What are you doing now? You are looking, because well, that time I used to be very, very fat. I said, ah, Simeon, I'm not doing anything. He said, ah, you are looking good. You are not, you are not, doing, any, you are not doing anything. Okay, a friend of uh, his can give me what to, what to do. Let us, let us go to Victoria Island. We now went. This two in a dream. Yes. When we went there, I can't remember a particular street. But I can vividly remember a mighty, a mighty gate. 
he ran the, the gate. It's like they know him in the compound. The, 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 the man pull up, look at him, and I say, okay, you are the one. He now, he now open. We now enter the compound. When we enter the compound, I discover that there are so many buildings in the compound. But the man ushered us in, into a smaller one. He said we should, we should sit down there and wait for the man. When we entered, I discovered that the, the man, the rich man, was using artwork on the floor. And now, and now I asked my friend, I said, ah, this artwork, the man supposed to hang it on the wall. Why is he putting it on the floor? He said, ah, that I'm a bush person, that the thing is a patient rock. I said, no, this is a art piece. It, 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 it is not, we argue, argue, the guy said, okay, when the man comes out, he's going to, he's, he, he is going to ask him. So he, eventually the man came out, he now asked the, the man. The man now said, ah, don't you know, this is an art piece, all this while that you have been coming here. The man now turned to me, he said, for the fact that you came here for the first time and you discover that this is an art piece, you now pick one and hand it and hand it, hand it, hand it over to me and say, take. I, 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 woke up, I woke up from the dream. It was during that period also, a cousin of mine was working on a medium called Bone Collage. It was on Friday. I visited him. In this time in real life. Yes. I visited him in Portaco. Friday, Saturday. When I visited him on Friday, I told him about the two significant dreams. He said, when you were in, in, in school, you used to draw, but it wasn't a professional uh, uh, drawing. And now, and I now said, okay, you can take one of the machines. You know, we use, we use machine in, in, in doing the bone collage medium. The old machine, I, I took it on Sunday, I came back to Lagos, and I prayed for more revelation. Do you know, I, I, I started, I told myself I'm going to be an artist based on the two significant, yes, God has given me. I started drawing on 4A paper. I, I would sketch, enter some of the, during that, 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 that time was the time we, we had a lot of finance houses and mortgage scattered all over Allen. I would enter their office. I said, I am an artist. I want to see you are, you are MD. I will show them the sketch. Some of them will if you give me something to do. I will come back. I will, I will do it and I will give. And after about two, three years, a man get to know what God has done in my life. He sponsored my first show in DD Museum and that one blew me up. A man came from US during Atlanta 1999. He came, bought my, my, my works and I've been producing for him and those are the things that God has been able to do and I have a gallery now called Win Art Gallery. Hold the thoughts, hold the thoughts. Isn't God just amazing? Don't go away. There's so many of you God's been talking to. Anyway, that's a topic for another day. We'll see you after this time out. A tribute by his colleagues and business partners in this book describe him in glowing terms. Entrepreneur par excellence. At uh, the age of uh, six, she will fly a car, I will go out to sell, come back before going to school. A consummate entrepreneur. My uncle asked me to come in the evening. I went with my senior brother and they counted 200 naira and gave me. That was in 1977. And I asked him, what will I do with this money? He said, well, that's my starting up capital. And a business. Uh... How do you start business with 200 naira? Mr. Cosmos Maduka will tell us. From trials to triumph, a costary story. And he came into the world. We will hawk bread morning, noon, and night. That's why I have a patch in the middle of my head. Are you serious? It is not anything from, a fa from family. Well, 
constant hawking of breath for like almost four years. <laughs> There's so much. Join us. You're welcome. Mr. Chi, yes. um, when you started going to all these finance houses and all these banks, what gave you the confidence when you knew that uh, you, you, you were not a known name? You had hardly started. What gave you the confidence then? It was God. Because that time I knew that the, the two revelations that I, I, I got, and again also I tell you the real truth, there was a great uh, urge in me because I wanted to do something. And seeing the two, and seeing the two revelations, revelation, I hold on to it. And I, and most of, I, 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 should, I should say, most people in the public patronized me. Most, most people. Apart from the Didi Museum you have done, where and where else have you mounted your shoes? I have, I have, I have mounted my shoes with the, there was this, this time, a, a Bishop Vining. They were doing certain, uh, certain anniversary. They invited some of the artists to come. I, 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 I turned out my work and they accepted it and I was part of it. I have, I have been part of a, a, a show, news magazine was, 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 uh, was, was organizing. I had about, I think I should have about five public show, but I, I, I have one two-man show in the the museum i am yet to have a solo show why why haven't you had a solo show what, what are you waiting for uh why i'm waiting there are so many things if you want to consider having a solo show okay. and i'm working on the modalities to have a the first solo show um looking through the you've been celebrated in most newspapers Yes. The shoes have been, people have talked about your painting in all these newspapers. When you sit back and you think that for somebody who came all the way from Akwaibu, you didn't have anything, you didn't know what to do, and God revealed this to you, and you sit back and you look at this thing, and to you it's real. Yes. And you have been, how yes. does it make you? Uh, I, give, I, give, I give glory to God. It doesn't have, it, it has nothing to do with me. It has all to do with him. I can give see him. You drove in here with a Mercedes. It is God. <laughs> For somebody who didn't yes. have anything. I, I didn't have. I didn't have anything. It has nothing to do with me, like I said. And I have opened a studio where artists from different dif different background should come. I have been able to get some few materials. Let them come because what a, 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 what I have come to re realize in this business is. There are a lot of artists that have graduated from school. Yes. They don't have where to. They don't have where to practice. And by by His grace, we have we have, we have been able to have a place, a large place that artists can can come and practice to be able to put food on their table. Do you charge them money? No, no. Charge them. Mm, I, I don't charge them. But what the gallery will do when you walk, you you will give the gallery one walk. And we will use that, that, that one work to sell to be able to maintain the... What's the address of the place? It's 17 Bajobi Street off uh, uh, Richard Street. Richard Street is by Balogo Bus Stop. Obafemi, Obafemi, Awolowe. By his grace, we have trained our artists. We, ha we have artists from Yabatek. We have... The, the gallery is full. It is not. It, 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 it is not about me. But the but the place and the dream, I was the one that set up. But I have been able to bring in, train, good artists. So you're giving back, sharing to the society. One God Definitely. You. Yes. You came to Lagos. Mm -hmm. You didn't know. You don't have a job. That's it. You didn't even know what you were coming to Lagos to do. I'm telling you. So truth. if somebody comes to you today and says, "I'm in Lagos, I don't know what to do." What advice would you give them? First of all, hand over your life to him that, that created you. He's going to fashion out 
pray and definitely God will re reveal what you should do. There must be people who can see what you're doing. Okay. And uh, because you have, you, you've succeeded in what you're doing. Definitely. And they want to come to you and say, look, I want to be a painter. I want to learn how to draw. I want to, would you just accept them? The person, first of all, you, you, you have to hand over your, 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 your life because there is nothing you do on this earth if you are not in Christ, you are in crisis. <laughs> so it is better you hand over your life. Most of them, most of them comes. When they see my publication, they will come, I will tell them, see, I am not a trained artist. This is how God lead me. If God can lead me to this, for me to have this, what about you? They come on a regular basis. That is my message for them. Um, you've been able to mount, so I've seen you've been celebrated on channels. Um, Channel a couple of times on NTA, on Galaxy. How does that make you feel when you see your work? I give him, I, I, give, I give, it is all about him. It is all about him. It has nothing to do with me. It is all about him. Because w w w without him, I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't even be here to be able to talk to, to the people there. Without him, I am, I, am, I am nothing. You still worship him like you did in those days when you didn't have? Definitely, yes. Worshiping God is not going to church. It is your personal thing. It is a personal relationship with him. Your personal thing. It is your personal thing. I go to church. I am, I am a member of a certain church. I am a worker in a certain church. If today you wake up in the morning or tomorrow and God reveals to you that, because um, God works with us in phases, he can tell you to do this today. Okay. And then when you have completed that assignment, he moves you on to another assignment. Of course, for you to do this, you must love what you're doing. If tomorrow you wake up and you have a revelation that you're to stop. What I'm doing? I will follow him. Because what do you think is the devil speaking to you? Uh, no, no, I have to be sure that he's the one talking. <laughs> if I'm sure that he's the one talking, he's the one that owns my life. I have to follow anywhere he said I should go because he knows the end from the beginning. So anywhere he said I should go, definitely I will Hold do the, the I will Don't do go the away. We'll be right back. You will be what God says you will be, irrespective of your circumstances. Because of my level of uh, financial status then, I will say, I had one shirt I was wearing every time. In the evening, I wash it. <laughs> in front of the fan. Yeah, put the fan. In the morning, I will use again to school. We will hawk bread morning, noon, and night. That's why I have a patch in the middle of my head. Are you serious again? It is not anything from constant hawking of bread for like almost four years. <laughs> I hear he prophesied his death. Yes, he did. How did he say it and how did you feel? My uncle counted 200 naira and gave me. And I asked him, what will I do with this money? He said, well, that's my starting up capital. So now how many people are we talking so about? So I, I lost seven people. Seven I, people? Yeah, I lost uh, 24 hours. Join us as we celebrate the story behind the glory, and that's to the glory of God. Yummy. When you proposed to Gloria, she was 16 years older than you. Yeah, she still is. She still is. Okay. So, tell us the story. As a young Christian, yes, I always knew I was going to marry somebody older than me because. It was express hard with the Lord and I knew that the years, the difference, I wasn't sure. And in my life I've never there was only one person I went out with that was I was older than me. Yes. Every other person I'd gone out with I was were older than me. Yes. So one of my friends was also the director of a sports company we owned together. Yeah. And then um, he said to me, he said to me, he noticed I was saying, yes, yes, the Lord is leading me towards his direction. He said, yeah. So he called me out, we had a meeting. Board meeting that day in the office, and he said, after he said to me, Look outside, look through the window. Some young ladies passing, mm -hmm. and he said, You have to look at this thing beyond 
the Lord leading you. Because there's also the physical angle of it. If you look out through the window, will you five years from now drive into Unilab to pick a girl? Ten years from now, will you do that? Because I said to her, I like you very much. And I want something far more than this, something that is permanent. Yes. So you know, don't, don't go down that road. We still mess up. So we have a wonderful relationship. We're very, very close. We're good friends. I said, excuse me. He said, no, 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 no. I said, all right. I'll drop it for now. So we talked and she left. You know, the Bible says, behold, I do a new thing. But for most women and most men, when the Lord is doing a new thing in their lives, they feel that mm, this one cannot be God. You're welcome back. Um, your brother, your cousin, that invited you to Lagos. Yes. When you started, because sometimes when you live with people and you have this kind of revelation, you start doing things like that. <laughs> what did they think was wrong with you? <laughs> My cousin said I should, I can remember one day. Yes. He said I should, uh, I, I should show him any artist that is living fine. <laughs> I said, well, I don't, I don't, because then I, I, I know that there are big time artists that were living fine, yes. but I was not close to them. I didn't know them. Yes. I told him, I, honestly, I, I don't need to know any artists that are living fine. But this is, I have told you, this is what God is telling me to do. And this is what I am going to do. He said, I should work, I should, I should work, I should work with him. I said, I won't be able to, 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 to work. Let me continue. I, re I, 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 I remember when I set up the place, sometimes he will, he will come. He will criticize me. He said, ah, this bone's supposed to be like this. This, this one's supposed to. He, is he an artist? He is not. Okay. He was criticizing, but you, you know, it is now that I realized what God was doing. Yes. God used him to strengthened me yes. because without him criticizing me doing all 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 those things i wouldn't be able to hold on to him but and i'm telling the whole world that you hold on to god not on to any man today you have your own home i have my you home have your gallery definitely Obviously you're married that's it i have one one child and God is going to bless us more. Amen. Amen. And that if God just stops at that one, would it change the way you feel about it? No. 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 Thank you very much, Ashi, for coming on. Thank you very much for God giving. bless you and may God continue to bless your vision. Thank you very and much. And it. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to share the story of my life to the world. It is word made flesh. So when anybody receives a word from God, We'd like to celebrate it on this program. Thank because you very much. Because you'll encourage, you'll be encouraging somebody out there. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Viewers, thank you for your time. You see, there's so many people that God speaks to in a dream, in a vision. All the time we have the Spirit of God present with us. The Bible says that you'll hear that word behind you that says, this is the way, walk therefore in it. Whenever you turn to the left or turn to the right. And he also says in his word, he gives us his spirit his Holy Spirit to teach us. But you know, most people, when they set their sights on what they want to do, or some of them just sit back and they say, I don't know what to do. I think the best thing is for you to go to God in prayer and let God speak to you. He's always speaking to us at every given time. Don't do anything because you see another person doing it, because you might do it and it might have a semblance of success for you. But you know what? It is you doing that which the Lord God has blessed you with the vision that he has given you. Because when he gives you that vision, he will give you that passion. And believe me, it will bring joy and peace into your life. Until I come your way again, go to God in prayer all the time and ask him to order your footsteps and to order your thoughts. Have a wonderful week ahead of you. Thank you for your time. It's